guys are having a terrific time tonight. I've um, really been looking forward to this. Um, I think this is my fourth time back. I, I, I'm not sure, but uh, if you guys are anything like last year, uh, they were off the hook. Are you guys off the hook? Yeah! Yes. <laughs> well, congratulations to you guys. And uh, while I'm standing here, uh, she's a long, long ways away from me right now, but my daughter also graduated today. So. Class 2011 is very special in my heart, so yes, I'm very baby. excited to be here. Woo! All right, guys, uh, I know we got a bunch of graduates in the room tonight. We've got some guests, and as Stacy said, uh, we're going we're to limit this to the actual graduates. So when you put your hand up, uh, if people around you, if somebody tries to fool us, let us know, okay? Because we really wanted to be good for you guys that graduated. Hands up. All right, I'm not going to beleaguer this thing. I'm not going to drag it out. I'm just going to give you the lowdown on uh, what's happening up here so you guys understand. Uh, has anybody here ever seen a show like this before? If you have, put your hand in the air. Okay, cool. So we got a few folks that have seen it. How many people here have never seen this kind of show before? Put your hand in the air. Great. And uh, how many people here, no matter what I ask you to do or ask you to raise your hand, refuse to raise your hand? There's always a few. I got to check. Okay. All right. For those of you that have never seen a show like this, I'm going to go over some things very, very quickly so you understand what's happening here. This is a hypnotic show. You are going to be the stars of the show. It's going to require you to come up and get in these chairs behind me, as I'm sure you've noticed. They're empty. They are for you. Um, real quick, hypnosis. Everybody says you must be weak-willed or weak-minded in order to be hypnotized. Nothing can be further from the truth. You must be strong-willed. You must be able to focus in order to be hypnotized, okay? It's very normal. We're hypnotized every day of our lives. Every single day, everybody in this room, whether they believe me or not, they are hypnotized. How do you experience hypnosis on a daily basis? Well, let's start with your alarm clock. Going off in the morning, you reach over maybe to hit the snooze button or you sleep right through it, but it's going off. But usually the snooze thing is a good indicator that you're kind of in that in and out phase of sleep. And you might wake up and not even realize that you turned off your alarm clock. Anybody ever had that happen to them before? Yeah, of course. It's a natural state of the hypnotic trance. It's just where your brain waves are in the phase between sleep and wakeness. Driving down a road, who, who drives cars here? Lots of you. Everybody rides in the car, a lot of you drive a car. You're driving down the road, maybe you're on a long trip, maybe you're going across Pennsylvania, or you're heading down to Maryland, or whatever. And you know, an hour seems like 15 minutes where you're jamming to the tunes and, and that time just flies. Who's had that, had that happen before? Okay? Those are all examples of, of a hypnotic trance that you experience every day. So it's kind of going to be how you feel up here. It's kind of that in between and out of between, all right? Um, what makes this show work is your willingness to come up and relax, become hypnotized, allow yourself to become hypnotized. All hypnosis is self-hypnosis. I am just the director of an orchestra. If you listen to the words that I say, you should be able to achieve hypnotic trance. Once you're there, it's your willingness to accept suggestion. And we'd like to do a little uh, test about suggestion here, so as this will require everybody to sit up off the floor and put their hands in front of them. You look so comfortable down there on the floor. Just sit up for me, all right? Because I want you to check this out. Everybody put their arms right out in front of them, both of them, with their palms facing down like this. And turn your right palm facing the ceiling. I need everybody not to speak. Uh, just put just the right palm facing the ceiling. That's it, good. All right, everybody, stop giggling now. Everybody relax, close your eyes, listen to the words I'm gonna say. This is a great test, this is not a hypnotic thing. Uh, you're not going to get hypnotized, but just listen very, very carefully to the words that I say. Right now, I want you to focus on your left hand. I want you to notice that left hand. And I want you to imagine it's got a beautiful ribbon that's attached to it. And that ribbon, there is a big bouquet of helium balloons. They could be big graduation balloons, whatever. They're helium, and they are causing your left wrist to rise ever so gently towards the sky. Your left wrist continues to rise gently. And the more that you focus on it, the more it rises, and it allows you to relax feeling very good all over, while at the same time, your right hand has a very, very heavy bowling ball in it.